This week on the March 14th edition of Panther Spotlight, we'll be taking a peek at the results from the track meet at Iwu, some reminders of the upcoming musical The Old Man of the Old Moon presented by Panther Theatre, and for our seniors, our final nine weeks here at Eastbrook High School. Welcome to the March 14th edition of Panther Spotlight. Yesterday was Daylight Savings Day, so naturally, today is National Napping Day. Yes, you heard it here first. It is your excuse to take a nap. Let's get right into announcements. Clubs that are meeting for homeroom today are FFA, Innovation Club, and Unified Champions Club. If you heard your club, then you are in the wrong place and should probably start heading to your club meeting place. Just another reminder, Student Council has a student suggestion form. If you have any ideas you would like to share, the link to the form is on Mrs. Buckler's daily announcements. Speaking of suggestions, this is not one. Please don't let anyone into the building. Remember, this is for your own safety. The end of the grading period was last Friday. Your grades will be available online by this Wednesday. So keep your eye on the grade book. Seniors, just one more nine weeks before graduation, so keep hanging in there. Are you missing out on our student media productions? If you want to get caught up, there is a link on Mrs. Buckler's daily announcements that will lead you to our YouTube page. Or you just can scan this lovely QR code. And that's it for this week's announcements. Now it's my turn to take a nap. So let's send it off to Claude with hands and boys. Bro, I just had this crazy dream that I was at school doing panther pole and you are at school doing panther pole. <clears throat> this week we asked students if school should bring back nap time. Would bringing back naps benefit students and improve grades, or is it simply a short fix for sleep deprivation? Let's see what people have to say about this controversial topic. I do think that because I'm tired a lot, and it'd be great to sleep more. Yes, because stress equals tiredness, which equals I need sleep. I do think school should bring back nap time because I'm tired all the time. Absolutely, I need it, please. Absolutely, we're all tired. We're just tired and we can't function, so we can't learn if we're tired. Yes. Um, because who doesn't love sleep? Absolutely. Like, um, I mean, with the amount that schools pressure you to achieve academically, without the proper amount of sleep, it's hard to, like, perform consistently. So I think it's really important that we reincorporate nap time. In my opinion, I think I would be more likely to do better on my assignments if I didn't have to struggle to stay awake the whole time. And according to these results, I'm not the only one who thinks that. Comfy beds, two teacher supervisions, comfy beds, a dark room, students choose whether to participate or not, can also be used as a study hall. There will be silence. During our math period, we sleep 30 minutes every other day after lunch. Science has actually proven a 10 minute power nap is healthy for the human body. And besides, I bet no one gets sleep here. Bring back nap time. The last time I had nap time was in 1988. Mrs. Gokenauer's kindergarten class. They should just let you sleep if you fall asleep. You're in a room completely dark. And like, we all lie down on one huge mattress and just sleep all anywhere in the room. No, because school is not for sleeping, but school is for learning to get smart and graduate and get a good job and become successful in life. Moving on to Liam with Arts and Organizations. Good luck staying awake for his segment. Hello, 
and welcome to Arts and Organizations, where Claudia doesn't realize I fall asleep during my own segment, as is. If you or someone you know is looking to replace a bed in your home, now is the time. Eastbrook High School Band Program is hosting a one-day mattress fundraiser on Saturday, April 2nd from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. There will be 30 different styles of beds on display. In addition to beds, there will also be luxury pillows, sheets, adjustable power bases, and even weighted blankets and convertible beanbag chairs. The Eastbrook Band also had Honor Band last Tuesday. Here's a quick recap of the event. Congrats to the Honor Band for a great performance. Eastbrook Theatre will be performing The Old Man and the Old Moon on March 31st, April 1st, and April 2nd. Tickets are officially being sold. you can scan the QR code on screen now to order tickets online but it's okay I'll keep it on screen so you can scan it I know you want to see the play so see the QR code is it's right there all right that's enough time mrs. Neergardner and mrs. Hawk would like to remind everyone of academic excellence if you have had academic excellence you have a chance to receive rewards for it Mrs. Neergardner and Mrs. Hawk will be in contact with people who have earned distinctions. The rewards you can earn are one semester, a pin, a medallion for your second semester, a patch and an opportunity to purchase your letterman jacket for your third semester, and for the fourth to seventh semester, chevrons to add to your jacket sleeve. As a reminder, detention and tutoring is, on the, is in the learning commons from 310 to 340. If you need tutoring or you need detention, all are welcome. On March 17th, National Honor Society will have its tapping of 19 students during 5th period. Induction is March the 30th. Mrs. Mensch has more information for the NS NHS students. And that's all for Arts and Organizations. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next week. Now on to Kaylin with sports. Thanks, Liam. Welcome to sports with some amazing announcements. First off, we will be talking about track. With the results from the IWU meet, here are some results. Last Saturday, track had a meet at Taylor, but sadly we can't report on the results this week. Thanks to everyone who attended the Unified Home Basketball game. Now for a recap of that night.
everyone who attended cheered, made signs, and encouraged the team. To round off the basketball season for Eastbrook this year, we'd like to congratulate Lily McLaughlin, Isaac Rands, Brody Broadcorp, and Braxton Bowser. All of these players were selected for Basketball Academic All-State as honorable mentions. Now off the bat with softball. Hope that didn't make you jump. Softball has officially started and their first scrimmage is this Wednesday. Softball is doing a Wix Pie fundraiser. The fundraiser ends on March 18th and pickup is April 14th. The cost of pies are $10. See one of the softball players if you are interested. Baseball has open gyms right now, but they will have official practice on Wednesday. If you need more information, talk to Coach Holslider. That's it for sports this week. Now off with the sign-off. That's all for this week's Panther Spotlight. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next Monday.